In this series of videos, I'll be discussing how to use Onshape to create some basic objects, export them for laser cutting, and export them for 3D printing. Onshape is a online parametric model editor, similar to Inventor, although not as fully featured, but it is free for education users and will run on a Chromebook, which is pretty great. So I'm gonna start off by creating a new document. So I'm gonna hit Create Document. And I'm going to give this name as basic cube demo. Now we do the same on yours. So in this, we're going to be using this to make a basic cube, do some export, uh, extrusions, revolutions, cuts, just to get you a feel for how Onshape works. So when I start off, I'm presented with my model, my feature browser, my tools, my navigation cube, a view tool so I can change what I'm looking at, and my views. I'm going to build our cube from the front, so we're going to take and click a sketch and click on the front of our thing. Now, Inventor would automatically focus this on here, but we're going to click on the front of the cube so we're looking at the front of our object. Now, there are many ways to make a cube. I'm going to start off with the line tool so you can sort of see how the snapping and drawing features work. So I'm going to start off by selecting the line tool. And if I get close to the origin, it will snap. And I'm going to click. And now my first line segment, I don't have to hold the button down. I have a line segment attached to the origin. Now, I can measure this out to a certain size, but that's not worth the effort doing. Get it close, but it doesn't really matter. We'll just mention it later. So I'm going to now click my button down, release. Now I have a second line. And if I get go vertical, it'll snap when I'm vertical. So I'm going to click down over. Now I'm going to bring this line all the way back to the axis again. It will snap on the axis, and it will snap horizontal. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to bring it right back to the origin again. When I do this, I have a square who has two black sides and two blue sides. If I escape out of the line tool, I think I can drag these around. But if I try to grab this guy, I can't drag him left and right. It doesn't matter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and make this a square. Now I can do this a couple ways. I'm going to start off with a geometric um, feet, uh, constraint. I'm going to say that this side is equal to this side. So if I go to my equals constraint, I can click on the top and click on my side. And now if I escape out of this tool, escape key is your best friend on here. If it can do anything weird, just escape out. I can only drag my cube, my square in and out, and it'll stay a square. I'm now going to dimension him. So I'm going to click the dimension tool. I'm going to click one side, click again, and I'm going to set these to one inch. I could type IN. So now this cube is full, this square is fully black. That means if I hit escape, there's nothing I move. I can't not drag any points here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to a three dimensional view by clicking the corner of the cube, or I could click isometric over here. I'm then going to click on the extrude tool. The extrude tool lets you pull a shape out into the third dimension. I'm going to click extrude. And I'm going to set it to one inch. And if I hit the check mark, I now have a cube. 